eager to paint on your tablet? Try the Go Paint app on your Huawei tablet. Today's video will introduce the app's basic features and help you get started right away. First, open the app to find the My Artwork screen, where you can view and manage your artwork. Touch the icon in the upper right corner to view your favorites. Then touch the four dot icon to import a work or picture. Manage your artwork by batch or view recently deleted content. Ready to start creating? Touch the plus icon in the upper right corner to create a canvas and choose your desired dimensions. Here, we'll choose an A4 canvas. Pinch two fingers together to adjust the canvas size and rotate it. Now, let's get to the common features. Touch the brush icon to find the brushes. Here, I'll show you a few. You can try out as many as you like to find the ones you need. This is the smudge tool. Touch it and select Smudge Blend to mix different colors. Next is the Eraser tool for removing unwanted content. Let's take a look at the toolbar on the left. You can use the upper bar to adjust the brush thickness by swiping upwards to make the brush thicker or downwards to make it thinner. The lower bar can be used to adjust the opacity of the brush. You can swipe downwards to lower the opacity. Touch the circle in the upper right corner to select a color from the color palette, color ring, or color card. Select any color you want. The tool on its left is the layer tool. Touch the plus icon to create a new layer. A layer works like a piece of transparent white paper. Therefore, the layers are independent and do not affect each other. Check out this artwork. It contains many layers. The tool on its left is the filter tool, where multiple filter modes are available. These two are the selection and change tools. Select a desired area and touch to edit it to adjust the size and position of the selected area. Touch here to display the operation menu where you can import or export your artwork, copy a canvas, or view the information related to your work. The two icons here are Undo and Redo. That's all for today's tutorial. Open the app and try it out for yourself.